Chill usually means the start of an event here in Hawaii. Tonight, the start of our luau and the imu ceremony. So, imu is spelled I M U, cooking pit, not E M U bird. Imu is an underground oven. We're cooking a pig. Pig in Hawaiian is puaa, P U A A, puaa. Now, what we did early this morning, we laid firewood at the bottom of the pit. The firewood that we use is something called ironwood, also known as Australian pine. So, firewood on the bottom. Before we light that firewood up, we're going to place some rocks on there. The rock we use is lava rock. Lava rock is porous, which means it has holes in it. This is the type of rock you want to use when you're cooking on the ground because most rocks are solid. Solid rocks will heat up to so much they can't take the heat. My first one the bottom. This one here keeps the heat in. This will be the cooking element for the pig itself. So lava rock on top of firewood. We'll light the firewood up to heat the rocks. And it takes a couple hours to heat up. While that goes on, we go into the gardens. We're going to chop an entire banana tree down. Because we're going to use it here in the evening. Banana trees hold a lot of water. It'll create a steaming effect when you're cooking the pig. The style of cooking is called kalua. K-A-L-U-A. -A. No H in there. That would be the liquor, right? So kalua, steaming and baking at the same time. Once these rocks are nice and hot, all the firewood is totally burned down. No fire going on in there. Just the hot rocks. We'll go ahead and chop the trunk of the banana tree into several sections. Smash it up and place it right on top of all the hot rocks. We'll then place some banana leaves on there and then some tea leaves. Tea leaves, not the drinking kind of tea, but the leaves the guys got around their necks here. Tea eyes is selling this plant. You find this throughout Polynesia. Here in Hawaii, our hula dancers like to use them for their hula skirts. We wrap foods with it and steam foods with it. Get a fever, you place that leaf on the fevered area, it'll help draw some of the heat in the body. Many, many uses for this plant. Finally, we get to the pig. Uh, pre pandemic, we would go down to the south shore to kind of show a pig farm, grab some pigs, put them in the ground. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, though, it's that story, family business closed. And uh, that was the main pig farm here on Kauai. So we get now, now in the interim, or hopefully there's another family that wants to take it over, uh, we get our pigs from Oahu. So they are flown over, just the meat and bones part of it. And then they'll bring the, the pig right over here. So tonight you get the city pigs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, pig, just the meat and bones part of it. It is laid on its back in a pan similar to this, and it will slice them up. And the only slice we use, Hawaiian rock salt. Pa'atai, <laughs> the thicker grain of salt, will sprinkle generous amounts in the cavities of the pig. We'll then go back into the pit, take some of the hot rocks out, and place it inside the pig. That way it's cooking from the inside out, as well as from the outside in. Pig goes on top of all the leaves, or leaves over the pig, and then we put a tarp over it just to make sure none of the sand or the dirt gets in there. So nine hours later, here we are, ready to take them off. Nice slow cook, yeah? Nine hours. Chefs love this way of cooking. All they do is they pick up bones, they shake bones, most of the meat falls right off the bones itself. Nice and soft. Rocks in there are still very, very hot. If you want to cook another pig in there right now, use those same rocks. Don't have to reheat them. Those same rocks will cook another pig by tomorrow morning. Pigs we use usually between 120 and 150 pounds. Have you learned the word for yummy in Hawaiian? And it's not yummy. <laughs> ah, it's ono. O N O. Ono. Rice pudding. Ono. Poi. Oh no. <laughs> gotta try it. Come the leaves, leaves. Out come the rocks. Which are really hot, but doesn't look like it's hot. Now the pig will not look like this when you go up to the dinner line tonight, which is probably good for a whole bunch of people. It'll look like a pulled pork when you get up there. That one is the hottest one. Got him. How about a hand for the guys here? Yeah. Hey. Right. So, knowing that the pig is not going to look like this when we get up there to the dinner line, when we're done here, if you'd like to take pictures of the pig in its current state, you may. Kind of gross, but you may. Um, I'll be here to answer any questions that you may have as well, too. So, thanks for joining us here, learning how we cook the pig Hawaiian style. It is now time for cocktails. So, go ahead and enjoy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So if you come up to take a picture and just say a 